presenting a video brought to you by RK Loves Gadgets. Hello everyone, how's everybody doing? It's time for another exciting video from RK Loves Gadgets. And how cool is this? Today I'm going to be doing a video of a super wizard. This was made in the early 90s by VTech in its original box. Now this actually came from eBay last week. It's in really good condition. The box is a little bit worn. Let me just show you the box. Put all the information on here. Yeah, pretty cool, eh? Not often that you find something like this. So Sometimes you would find stuff not always in the original boxes. So, how about we open the box and take it out? Uh, here it is. Pretty good condition, actually. The box is a bit worn, but the product itself is in really good shape. Um, on the side is a 9 volt adapter, so you can run this on 4 AA batteries or a 9 volt DC adapter. You've got all these buttons. This is kind of like a Simon game. So you've got all these listed games on there. You've got 25 lights, 12 skill building games. So you've got these buttons. You've got red, yellow, purple and orange. You've got the lights. And then you've got the controls. You've got the on-off switch, then a start reset button, and a volume switch. And there's four le four levels. The level switch here. And without further ado, let's turn it on. Sorry about the noise in the background. Okay, so all the lights are lit up, so you can basically change the gains with these buttons. So there's 12 games. They're all the games. I'm going to choose the first one. We press start. Three, two, one, go! It took me a while to get used to this. I've set this to level one. Okay, sorry about that guys, a little bit of a technical problem there. I was using my Canon PowerShot camera and the batteries ran out. As you might remember, I did do a video of the Canon PowerShot camera, so if you've missed, so for those of you who've missed it, feel free to go back and watch it. And I did mention in that video the batteries run out really quickly, so I've swapped cameras. So here I was demonstrating how to play one of the games, so if I turn it on, Let's try this again. Choose an activity. Okay, so I was demonstrating, I was explaining about the games that you can do. Choose an activity. So I was ex also explaining what all the lights do. Uh, so let's try again with this game. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh. So this game plays a bit like Simon. Three.
And that's kind of like the little goodie you get when you complete the game. Three, two, one, go! And just like Simon, if you get it wrong, you get the buzzer. Uh-oh! And your boy says, uh-oh, which, which is what you don't get on the regular Simon. Three, two, one, go! Okay, so you get the idea behind that. Some of the games with our, um, inquire, require Isn't multiplayer, so you can have up to four players on some of these games. So let me just show you another game. I can't go through all of them, but let's see. How many players? One player. One. Now let's get in the game ready. So you get the idea behind that one. How many players? Don't know that one now. Choose an activity. Okay. How many players? One. So this game involves like using your mathematics skills to match these um these lights. They're LEDs. Three. This does actually have a volume control in it, as I did say. Two. If I put it on high volume. Plus three. Plus one. And then low volume. The winner is... Yeah, it doesn't make much of a difference, to be honest. Well, How many game. players? That was a quick game, that, and I won. That's pretty cool. I don't know how well these lights are showing up on the camera. So yeah, I think you get the idea of the basics behind this game. Let me just show you the back. Oh uh, yeah, it's made in China. Um, let's see if I got it right. Yeah, made in China. There's the battery compartment. Four double A's. It's pretty clean as well inside the battery compartment. There's no rust or cor corrosion or anything like that. And I'll show you the list of games again. 12 skill building games. It's a nice design, it's really durable. And there's the 9 volt DC input. On the back is the speaker. Okay, so that's pretty cool. And there's the switch. There's a switch on here where you can change the levels. I was obviously playing on level one, so you got level two, level three, level four. I was playing on level one. Now, the thing about the first game where you, um, where it gives you the sequences and you copy it in order. On level one, there's five. It gives you five signals. On level 2 it gives you 10 signals, level 3 it gives you 15, and level 4 it's 20 signal pattern. So, it's pretty cool. It can get quite charging or challenging on some of the higher levels. Just quickly show you the box once more. You can see all the information about what this game can do. Really cool to find this on eBay. Have this on, get this on eBay in the box. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. I hope everybody enjoyed watching this video. And if anyone has uh, any idea um, exactly what year the game was manufactured, feel free to let me know in the comments below. 
And if anybody had one of those, maybe they might have had it in their childhood. What did they think of it? Because I've, I've been playing it quite a bit and it's pretty good. So yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed watching this video. And again, I do apologise for the technical hitch earlier on because the Canon PowerShop ran out of battery. So I've swapped to another camera that I had. But I hope anybody enjoyed watching this video otherwise. So that should be it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and share with your friends on social media, whether you have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Google+. Plus, Plus give the thumbs up and come back for a whole lot more with RK Loves Gadgets. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.